This is a story of abuse, detention and intimidation. Of what happened when the rebels swept into Tripoli and the hunt for their enemies began. Yeah, they smashed this place, yeah. you see. We met an African migrant worker who's lived in Libya for nearly 20 years. Like everyone we spoke to, he was too afraid to show his face. But so angry at what's happened, he feels compelled to speak out. On that day, the night, they came here, maybe about 20 of hand men like that. 20 men? 20 men, 20 men. Right. So they started calling us Mutasaka, meaning machinery for Gaddafi. Right. You see? You see, this is one of the instruments they use against us. The court guns they started, you know, taking the girls into the house. Then they raped them face to face, uh -huh. the girls. Yeah. Two weeks ago, a gang of rebel fighters burst into another house, looking for mercenaries. They ransacked and looted the place, holding the couple who live here at gunpoint. Imagine the terror as the men then turned on their 16-year-old daughter. Six of them, they raped me. They hit my father with gun, they hit him with gun and carried him away. Since that day, I've not heard, with, I've not heard from my father. He's nowhere to be found. Hundreds of black Africans have been rounded up. We watched one group being made to chant anti-Gaddafi slogans before being put to work. The Transitional Council has told its fighters to avoid revenge attacks, and there has been less violence than many feared. But the city's jails are still full of men detained with little or no evidence, no access to lawyers or their families. There's no communication. We spoke to one woman whose husband was dragged off last no, month. She hasn't seen him since. I'm scared. I'm scared of everything that is happening in this country. I'm now begging that just just leave my husband because he's innocent. He did not join army. He's very quiet. You see, this is African continent. I'm an African also. So this is my land. So is it because of my color, because I'm a black man? I don't know. And we don't have a voice. Instead of we blacks are the ones suffering, paying for the price of Gaddafi. Libya's new leaders must distinguish themselves in many ways, not least how they treat the poorest and most vulnerable. The last six months has been a battle for freedom, dignity and justice. If it's to mean anything, it must apply to all. Ian Panel, BBC News, Tripoli.